Hi, welcome to the registry. In this video, we will walk you through the process of closing out your stipend program by making payment allocations for your approved applications. Let's get started. There are two ways to make payment allocations. One way is by making allocations per individual application, or the second way, by using the allocate funding file. When choosing the first way, making allocations per individual application, after you have changed the status of your stipend applications to approved, if you want to make allocations per single application, you can do this by going to the application, as seen on the How to Process Stipend Applications video. Go to the Request History section, and under Request Status, you will see Allocate Funding. You can click on this, which will prompt you to enter fund amounts based on the funding streams for your stipend program. Once you have entered an amount, you can click Save. After you have clicked Saved, a pop-up message will ask you if you would like to notify the user. You can select either Yes or No. If you would like to make the funding allocations for all approved applications at once, you will go back to the main Stipend Administration landing page. You will go to the fourth feature available, Apply Payment. You will be routed to this page with the following components. Allocate Funding, Stipend Report, and Upload Payment. You will see that under Allocate Funding, it will say a number plus awaiting. This is the number of requests that you have approved and need allocation of funds. Click on Allocate Funding, and this will automatically download the Allocate Funding file for you with all approved requests. The Allocate Funding file contains various information on the applications that you have approved. To complete the file, you will focus on the Paid Email Sent Date and the Funding Streams column. In the Paid Email Sent Date column, you will enter the date when you informed applicants of their stipend payment if you sent out separate communication. If you did not send out a separate communication, you can leave the cells blank. In the Funding Streams columns, which will vary depending on your county stipend program, you will enter the allocated funds per funding stream per application. Once you have completed the allocations of funds for all requests, you can save the updated Allocate Funding file. To process the data on the Allocate Funding file, click on Upload Payment. Click on Choose File, and when your file is selected, click on Upload File. You will now see the data for all of the requests and the allocations that you have made. You can use the different navigation tools such as Previous and Next or the filters to review your data. When ready, you can click on Process Data. Next, you will be asked whether you would like to notify users via email of this final status change. If you already sent out a separate communication and enter a date in the Paid Email Sent Date column of the Allocate Funding file, you can click No. You can also click No if you would prefer to not have a message sent out. Otherwise, you can click Yes. Afterwards, click on Continue Processing. You will now see a message that you have successfully processed stipend allocations. If you need to upload again, you can click on Click Here. You have now learned how to process stipend fund allocations. Thank you for being part of a community of over 120,000 ECE professionals. The work you do is important, and we are here to help.